in, in what way do you think uh, we're giving students a great education and then a, a great career? Well, I mean, obviously, the first thing to talk about is cooperative education. And, and what I like about cooperative education is obviously from an educational standpoint, I think it honestly, knowing what I know now about how, how students learn and retain knowledge and, and, and deploy that knowledge, I think our, our system is just about as good as any in the country. Because I do think this generation of students not only wants, you know, a good broad based education, but they want to they want to see how it works in, in the real world. And I think there's nothing like co-op. Now with co-op under, by the way, the fantastic leadership of Peter Franks, we're making more and more investments. So for example, we've, uh, we've hired a couple of new people to help us focus specifically on providing more international co-ops, which I think, you know, given everything that's going on internationally now, both with Drexel and in general, having some international background is an imperative going forward. And, and so we're seeing our numbers starting to really rise in terms of the number of international co-ops that we're providing. I think our reputation um, in the city and in the region and now beyond has grown such that we're signing up more and more co-op employers. We have 50-year relationships like the ones we've uh, enjoyed with PICO and uh, Dennis O'Brien, who's, who's the chairman, is also on our board of trustees, and brand new relationships with relatively small startup-oriented companies that have heard about Drexel Co-ops and want to have one or more come to there. So we have a whole span of, of, of uh, relationships. We have now more international, and if, if anything, we're doubling down on Co-op. We really believe it's the future. So, you know, we've had Co-op at Drexel for a very long time. Do, do you think there will be a change for the 21st century in in co-op and how well, I, I think yes. I think I, certainly we want to change because jobs are different. So, for example, with the advent of the uh, the close school of entrepreneurship, we're going to have something called entrepreneurial co-ops. So, in certain cases, you'll be chosen for a co-op based on the quality of your business plan, and we will provide funding for you on a six-month basis. So, in the past, you might have gone and gotten a standard co-op, and someone would have paid you from X Y Z company. It'll now be the university through its close funds that supports you for six months and gives you coaching and space and other support. So then you can try your business for six months. An entrepreneurial co-op is a, a co-op like unlike any one we've offered before. So I think you'll see more of, of, of those type of, of, of you know, um, innovations in co-op. And again, a, a, a continued push domestically and internationally to give our students broader experiences away from Philadelphia. Excellent. And I think, I think it'll be another great selling point for students that want Absolutely. to Absolutely. Uh, no, it, it, it's great. I mean, you know, the, the fact is, you know, we've been a co-op for over, you know, 90 years now. And um, it, in many respects, it's as fresh and new, I think, to the market uh, as, it ever, as it ever was. And, and the key is we keep innovating with, within the co-op system. Mm -hmm.